<sighs> you smell that, children? That's right, it's fall, which means cooler weather, unless you're in the south. Pumpkin spice is in the air, and some great holidays are just around the corner. One of them being my favorite, Halloween. Welcome to Ryan's One Stop Holiday Workshop, where today I'm going to be teaching you one of the essentials of Halloween, carving the perfect pumpkin. Now carving the perfect pumpkin can be intimidating for people who don't know what they're doing, but that's okay. I've been doing it for years and with my expertise, you'll be a pumpkin carving master in no time. Step one, tools for the job. Now I'm assuming since you clicked this video, you know absolutely nothing about the professional art of pumpkin carving. So we're gonna stick with the basic tools you can get at any store for around $5. Now they may look fragile, but they'll get the job done. Step two, find your design. Now there are many ways to do this. You can either wing it as you go, or do a quick Google search. Find a stencil that you relate to, so you can really show those trick-or-treaters what you're all about. Step three, apply the stencil. Step four, familiarize yourself. <laughs> Step five, poke that pumpkin. Finally, after all that planning, you can sit down, tools in hand, and begin to understand the pumpkin more by poking holes into yourself. Please don't do this. After a hard day of doing Senpai's work, you deserve to treat yourself. You know what sounds good? Rum. You know what doesn't? Laying in bed at night wondering if you've done the right thing. Does your senpai pumpkin really care about you? Or is it just using you for its own selfish pleasures? Now that you think about it, it's been spending a lot of time with Helga lately. And hasn't put any effort into this relationship. Are you ready, children? The perfect summer grapefruit. Because fuck fall and fuck pumpkins. <laughs>